In this video we're going to learn how to do calculations with standard form without a calculator. To begin with, recall from a few videos ago that if I have numbers with the same base and different powers and I multiply them, we add the powers. So 10 to the 3 multiplied by 10 to the 4 would be 10 to the power of 3 plus 4 which is 10 to the 7. If I had 10 to the 8 for example divided by 10 to the power of 3. Remember, if the bases are the same and we divide, we subtract the powers, so we would have 10 to the power of 5. Also recall how to multiply decimal numbers. So if I wanted to do, for example, 3.2 times 1.4, I would ignore the decimal points, so I would do 32 times 14. And you can do that by whatever means you like. You have the grid, you have columns. So if I did that, I would have 1 plus 2 is 8, 4 times 3 is 12, 1 is in the 10, so we have a 0, 1, 2, 3, we add up the answers, 4, 4, we would have 448. But that isn't the answer to 3.2 times 1.4, because we'd need to move the decimal point back two places, because there were two decimal places in the question. So the answer would be 4.48. If you can do all of these skills, then you should have no trouble with what we're going to do today. To begin with, if you want to multiply numbers in the standard form, we multiply the number parts and then add the powers of 10. So here are some example questions. If I wanted to do 4.1 times 10 to the power of 2, multiplied by... 1.3 times 10 to the power of 4, we could write this, because you can multiply in any order, you could write this calculation like this, 4.1 times 1.3 times 10 to the power of 2 times 10 to the power of 4. So you could just do 4.1 times 1.3 and then 10 to the 2 times 10 to the 4. 4.1 times 1.3 to do that, I'm going to do what we've just done before. I'm going to do 41 times 13, and then put the decimal point back in. So I would have 5.33, because obviously the decimal would have to go back two places. 5.33 times 10 to the power of 6. In this example, we're going to need to put the answer back into standard form. This is how we would do the question. We would do 9.4 multiplied by 2.2. So I'm going to do 94 times 22 and then put the decimal point back twice. So I would have 20.68 and the powers of 10, 10 to the 3 multiplied by 10 to the 5 is going to be 10 to the 8. But this is not standard form because 20.68 is bigger than 10. So what I need to do is divide the 20.68 by 10 because that will move the decimal point back once which will make this into standard form. But if I divide a number by 10, I've made it 10 times smaller. So to balance the calculation, I also need to multiply it by 10. So I can multiply the 10 to the 8 part by 10. So what we end up with is 2.068 times 10 to the 8 times 10, which is 10 to the power of 9. And that will be our final answer in standard form. To divide numbers in standard form, we're going to divide the number parts and then subtract the powers of 10. Because when we divide and the bases are the same, we, we subtract the powers. So in this question, I have 3.6 times 10 to the 5 divided by 1.8 times 10 to the power of 2. So I'm going to do 3.6 divided by 1.8. So if I do that, I'm going to write it as a fraction. 3.6 over 1.8. To make the denominator into a whole number, I could multiply it by 10, 
and then to make the numerator a whole number I multiply it by 10 which gives me 36 over 18 which is going to be 2. So I end up with 2 and then I'm going to subtract the powers of 10 because I'm dividing giving me 2 times 10 to the power of 3. In this question I'm going to do 1.6 times 10 to the 8 divided by 4 times 10 to the 6 if I divide the number parts, I have 1.6 divided by 4, which is just going to be, again I can use a bus stop here, 1.6 divided by 4. 4 into 1 goes 0, I have a decimal. 4 into 1 goes 0, made of 1. 4 into 16 goes 4, I get 0 0.4. So I have 0 0.4 times, and then I subtract the powers of 10, giving me 10 to the 2. But this is not standard form. In order to make this standard form, the 0 0.4, this part, would need to be between 1 and 10, or between 1 and 9. So I need to multiply the 0 0.4 by 10, and to balance it, I'm then going to divide the 10 to the 2 by 10, which will give me 4 times 10 to the power of 1. Here are some questions for you to try. Please have a go at them now, pause the video, and when you're ready for the answers, press play. Here are the answers. To add and subtract numbers in standard form, we need to make the powers of 10 the same. For example, if I wanted to do 2.4 times 10 to the power of 2, plus 3.1 times 10 to the power of 3, we need to make the powers of 10 the same, which means that we need to change one of the numbers, either 2.4 times 10 to the 2 or 3.1 times 10 to the 3. So what I'm going to do, just uh, you can do it, you could either change the 3 to, the, to a 2 or, or the 2 to a 3. I'm going to change the 2 to a 3. So the power of 10 with a 2, I'm going to multiply by 10. And then to keep the whole number, 2.4 times 10 to the 2, the same, I'm going to divide the, the 2.4 by 10 to keep the number balanced. This will give me 0 0.24 times 10 to the power of 3. And I'm adding 3.1 times 10 to the 3. So this calculation that I've written in red is exactly the same as the one in the question. But now, because I have everything in terms of powers of um, 10 to the power of 3, I can just add the number parts. So I have 0.24 plus 3.1, which is just going to be 3.34 times 10 to the power of 3. Which in this case is already in standard form. Here are some examples. If I have 3.03 times 10 to the 6 plus 9.83 times 10 to the 5, what I could do is make the 10 to the 5 into a 10 to the 6 by multiplying by 10. But then I would need to divide 9.83 by 10 to balance. So I would have 3.03 times 10 to the 6 plus 0.983 times 10 to the 5 times 10, which is 10 to the 6. So I would then just need to do 3.03 plus C, which is 4.013, and I would have 4.013 times 10 to the 6 as my answer. For B, I've got 2.7 times 10 to the 8, take away 7.43 times 10 to the 6. Um, what I could do here, I could either make the 10 to the 8 into a 10 to the 6, or I could make the um, or I could make the 10 to the 6 into a 10 to the 8. So because I've made all of the numbers bigger in the last ones, what I'll do this time is to change it up. I will make the 10 to the 8 into 10 to the 6. To do that, I would need to divide by 100, because 10 to the 8 divided by 10 to the power 2, which is 100, would be 10 to the power 6. But then I would need to times the 2.7 by 100 to compensate. So I would end up with 270 times 10 to the 6, take away 7.43 times 10 to the 6. So I need to do 270, take away 7.43, 262.57 times 10 to the 6, but this is not standard form. 
I would need to divide the 262.57 by 100, which would give me 2.6257, and I would have to multiply the 10 to the 6 by 100, which would just give me 10 to the 8. So my final answer is 2.6257 times 10 to the 8. Here are some questions for you to try. Please pause the video now and have a go at them, and when you're ready for the answers, press play. Here are the answers.